It is appointed unto man once to die, but after this comes the judgment. God is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. He's long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. The will of God for all men everywhere is that they will turn to the righteousness of Jesus Christ. That's right, folks. Today, you need to turn to the righteousness of Jesus Christ because we do not know how long we have left on this earth. We do not know when the judgment of God is going to come upon men and men are going to be accountable. And we already know that there is a set day. There is a set time. There is an appointment. That's right. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, showing us your IQ there, folks. And, and that just brings up another point here, folks, because this world that we live in today, folks, is so intolerant. They're so intolerant of righteousness, of God, of anybody who wants to stand for righteousness. And I'm going to tell you right now, folks, there's going to come a time when God's going to, is going to bring strong delusion upon men because they received not the love of the truth. The love of the truth. Do you love truth today, folks? Because there's not too much truth being brought forth into the world that we live in today. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. So folks, you have opportunity today. You have opportunity to seek the things of God before it's too late. You need to seek the things of God before it's too late. One day God's going to judge this world by the righteousness of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's not willing that any perish but all come to repentance. So folks, where are you headed today? Where are you headed in the future? What's your What's your priorities for today? Are you going to seek God? Yeah, your booze. Hey, police officers, booze in that car right over there, BMW. And you know what the Word of God says? Drunkards are not going to inherit the kingdom of God. That's your God today? God says that drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. When I said, where are you going today? What are your priorities? Did somebody here fear God? No, they showed their bottle of booze. They showed their bottle of booze they're going to drink tonight. Trey, right, folks, do you know the times that you live in here when people make a mock at sin? They are proud of their sin. They're not ashamed of their sin. They're not ashamed of being drunk and being drunk. I'll tell you folks, there is a day of judgment coming. There is a day of judgment coming, folks, and you better be ready because when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back the second time, He's not coming the same way that He came the first time as a baby in a manger. He's coming in flaming fire to take vengeance on them that know not God. That's right. That little Lord Jesus Christ in the manger. The little Lord Jesus in the manger is coming back with flaming fire to take vengeance on them that know not God and who obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ.
That's right, folks. There's something you have to do. The Lord Jesus Christ did die for your sins. He is risen from the dead. Okay, we got a thumbs up. God bless. We got a thumbs up. It's better than a, you know, the middle finger. So, but folks, I hope that even those that are called by God's name, they're going to start waking up, folks, because there's nothing in this life that's worth living for except to do the service of God. So if you are called by God's name, you need to get busy preaching the gospel. God bless you. Another four. That's right. Well, praise the Lord. We're calling people to repentance today. Calling people to turn to the righteousness of Jesus Christ today. There's none righteous, no, not one. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the day. Today is the day, not tomorrow. There is already strong deception taking place in our communities today. There is already all kinds of deception taking place, folks in our communities today, but the deception's going to get even stronger and stronger and more magnified as time goes on. Right now, most of America, at least 50% or better, are already believing lies, folks. But one day, there's good, Satan's going to come down to this earth and he's going to try to duplicate uh, the same He's going to try to duplicate the same that Jesus Christ did. He came in the flesh. And one day, Satan's going to take on the, uh, the body of a man to bring people into perdition. He's going to be called the son of perdition. And he's going to bring this whole world into apostasy. And right now, we're headed towards that apostasy, folks. And the only way you can be delivered from that apostasy and from that deception and destruction that's coming is through the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. He is the resurrection and the life. Though a man be dead, if, they, if he believe in me, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Folks, you were created. You were created to live forever. But because sin entered into the world, there is wages for sin. There's a judgment for sin. And except you repent, you will all likewise perish. God is not slack concerning His promise. If some men count slackness, He's long-suffering to us words. He's long-suffering, folks. That's why he hasn't cast you into hell yet. He's still amongst his creation. He's still crying out to his creation. He's still crying out to you. Whosoever will, let him come to the fountain. of living waters, the fountain of living waters. That is the Spirit of God. That's what He came to do. Let those living waters be inside of you that will flow up into you into everlasting life. That's right, folks. You have an appointment with Almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ today. And you need to be ready against that day. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Don't be caught up in this world system. Don't be caught up in Babylon. Because Babylon's going to fall. And the only thing that's going to last is everlasting life that the Lord Jesus Christ provided. The only thing... God bless you. God bless you. And that's right, folks. The only thing that's going to last is what's in here, the Word of God, because it's everlasting, it's eternal. God made 
men to be eternal. But because of sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men. For that all have sinned, and you need to be born again. You need to be born after the Spirit of God. You need to become new in Christ. He's not willing that you perish. He died for all men that they will repent, that they will believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. They will, they will call upon His name. Seek ye the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is there. Let the wicked forsake His way and the unrighteous man His thoughts and let him return unto the Lord. And He will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for He will abundantly pardon. That's right, folks. God seeks to save your soul today. These words that I have in my hand today, they are eternal words. And men are either going to be lost or they're going to be saved. They're either going to enter into the joy of the Lord or they're going to go to eternal damnation, to the resurrection of damnation. That's right, folks. Some are going to be raised, those that have done good to the resurrection of life, and those that have done evil to the resurrection of damnation. No Catholic purgatory in here, folks. No popes in here. No Catholic priests that confess your sins do in here, folks. That's right. It's holy. We call it the Holy Scriptures, the Word of God, the Scriptures, the Scriptures of Truth. Have you opened the Scriptures of Truth lately today? Nothing to be, uh, nothing to be, um, you know, joking about here today, folks. That's right, sir. Nothing to be joking about. You have an appointment with God. Are you ready for it? Your thumbs are up, but can you give me a testimony of, of your salvation today? Of your being right with God? Can you give us a testimony of when that took place? All right. Uh, it's uh, between you and God, but you wouldn't be laughing and joking about All right. Thank you. Praise the Lord. All right. There's some people here today putting their thumbs up. Okay. So good. I hope that inspires somebody to go out and to preach the gospel. The death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is not willing that any of us perish. He wants all men everywhere to come to the knowledge of the truth. The wages of sin is death. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? That's right, folks. Think of how long you've lived here on this life and how longer, much longer you're going to live. All right, we got people for us today. I hope, I hope with all that uh, positiveness that we're going to have more people turn into preaching the gospel. But how long, folks, are you going to live this life? You're going to live this life and then die and your life would have been vain. I'll tell you right now, and even what's going on today, folks, with them trying to force people to take vaccination, hey, maybe, maybe your college education isn't as important as you think. You know, maybe the Lord Jesus Christ is knocking at the door right now. Maybe it's moments away. You know, we all think, oh, well, it's not going to be in our lifetime, but it may be in your lifetime. And the Word of God says that we're supposed to be watching and waiting. We're supposed to be watching and waiting and be ready for that day. Are you watching and waiting? Because Jesus said, except you repent, you will all likewise perish. That's going to happen, folks. Some people, they got to they gotta get out of here quick. They got to get out of here quick because the Word of God is a torment to them. But you know what? That's what they said to Jesus. They said, have you come to torment us before our time? Oh, we got to get out of here today. The Word's tormenting us. That's how the devils cried out. Have you come to torment us before our time? They know their time is coming. But your time is coming too, folks. And the Lord Jesus Christ took his place on that cross for you. And he shed his blood. That's right, folks. And if you're not ready on that day, the day he comes or the day of your death, Jesus said, if you believe not that I am he, 
you're going to die in your sin. And I hope nobody dies in their sin today. I hope they will repent and believe the gospel.